Hi guys, this is Jack and this is Cameron. And so we're going to be talking to you about Brisbane waterways. And we're going to be telling you if it's healthy or not. Some of the things we've been testing is a turbidity, salinity, pH level and air temperature. Thank you. Now, now to get on with the stats. Now to water temperature. We've been testing water temperature over three different seasons. The first time we, temp we tested the water was in winter, June. And what was the temperature for winter? Uh, well, in winter, we uh, actually got 19 degrees. Okay. And the next two times was in spring. So what was the next two temperatures for the spring um, time? Well, we measured spring in um, October and November. Um, yep. October got uh, 27 degrees and November got 25 Thank you. And with the ebbs temperature, it has always been 3 to 4 degrees higher than what the water temperature. So you could easily just work it out in your head. Now to salinity. So what we do is we measure the conductivity in the water, which will give us a vast estimate of how much salt is in the water. So the first time we tested the water, we got 35,000 units of conductivity. And then we got 50,400, and then we got 50,400 again. Which was in a low tide. And it makes sense because it's low tide and it's connected to the ocean, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The turbidity is the dirtiness of the water. So the first time we tested it, we got zero, because the water was pretty clean then. And then what was the next time? The next one was, we got, um, in October we got um, nine, and then in November we got six. And those nine and six was after rain, so which made the water very murky. From these tests, Point Clay Public School believes that Brisbane water is very, very healthy.